The Marine Harvest is a salmon uh, farming company and we, we are producing, uh, producing and growing salmon. Um, as part of that we, we have the full production chain in-house. So we're producing eggs, we're growing out the fish, we're producing feed and we're also marketing and, and selling the product to the consumer at the end. My work involves the, the breeding program. So really what we're trying to do is supply the very best eggs of the highest genetic quality to our, to our farmers. And we, we try to achieve that, of course, in, in many different ways. And, and one of those ways is to use the most advanced tools available to, to make our selection of fish as accurate and as high quality as possible. I was involved in some of the early work on uh, genomics in, in aquaculture and at that time it was very much R&D based so we would be working on uh, analysis of data and publishing results but there was not a, a, a very large uptake of these results in, in breeding work. But since the, the genomics sort of revolution and genomics tools really uh, advanced in recent years that uptake has been, has been much more rapid. And we see now that all the major salmon breeding companies are really implementing genomic technologies now in their breeding programs. And it's really delivering a huge, um, a huge gain for the breeding programs. Um, they're having, enabling much more accurate selection. And it's enabling the, the inclusion of many more traits in the breeding programs that was previously possible. So we can tackle a, a wider range of, of biological challenges and at the same time also improve the product quality and do that in a much more efficient way than we could previously. Initially, when we were working with Axiom, it was, uh, it was very much at the R&D level. So we had a number of small um, projects where we were involved with research um, collaborators. And the intention was always that we would um, use this Axiom technology to, to improve the, the breeding work, so improve the accuracy of our breeding values and implement genomic selection and discover markers that we could apply in the breeding program. Now, over the years, that um, we've scaled significantly up the, the Axiom work in the breeding program. So when we started, it was a very small scale, but in recent, in the last year, we've um, really made a significant increase. Now all our breeding values are genomic and all our breeding program is really based on this. And what it's also enabled us to do is, is roll in a wide range of analyses into one data set. So previously we were using a small amount of markers and we were obtaining parentage information for the fish and then later on we would be genotyping with an array to, to obtain genomic breeding values. Now we can do everything in one, uh, one step, so it's a really increase in efficiency as well as accuracy of our data. Right now uh, I can see that there is a real maturity now within genomics and salmon breeding, so I think there's going to be a widespread implementation in, in genomic selection and marker selection in the coming years across the whole industry um, for many, many different traits. And I think the, the benefits from that are already being seen, are being demonstrated, and this will only increase. The future is going to be about increasing numbers of samples genotyped so that we can increase the accuracy of selection and also enable us to select on more and more traits simultaneously. So I think the future at the genotyping level will be more numbers and increasing accuracy. Uh, new technologies on the horizon I think will be also very um, relevant for us. So for, uh, in our breeding program we see the, that uh, we would also like to, to, to apply different levels of genotyping depending on the, on the target uh, markers and target um, product in a way. New technology on the horizon uh, are also now emerging like gene editing and, and these type of things where we're looking at the R&D level but uh, for sure I think the, the real progress that's going to be made in the coming years is, is really that full scale implementation of, of both generic and mar marker assist assisted selection. It's been uh, very, very positive. Um, obviously when we started the, the Axiom work um, this was something new for us. Uh, we, we really needed, um, we needed help in, in developing the product and designing it and then actually analysing and using the data. And we had really good support from the um, Thermo Bioinformatics team in that process. 
And as we've gone through the iterations of the, the array, we've had that good support has continued the, the whole way. So we've been able to make our product better and better, and then we've also been able to, to increase the efficiency of our analysis pipeline. So it's really got to a very mature level now, and we, we have good support um, both at the bioinformatic level and at the, the sales level, because we are constantly evaluating our needs for the future. How many samples do we genotype? Um, you know, what level do we want to apply this at the future? And this is something that's evolving year by year as we get new results, as we see new opportunities, as new traits come along. So, so we're off, it's a very much a fluid process and I think uh, it's been a good communication with Thermo, uh, the scientific, with uh, the different needs we're going to have in the future and the different products you're going to have in your portfolio that could help support us.